Good day guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at creating our first dashboard. In this dashboard we'll be downloading an integration called Speedtest where we can visually see our ping, our download speed as well as upload speed in real-time data as well as historical data. Within hacks we'll be downloading mushroom cards and mini graph cards. The mushroom cards will give us a card where we can look at our what is pending for updates. This will give us a centralized dashboard to view what needs to be updated to review those logs in one glance and approve them. For All right, so the first thing we're going to do is install speedtest.net by going to settings, integrations, add integration and type it in. This will allow us to monitor our ping rate as well as uploading and downloading speeds. Let's assign it to a room or turn liquid finish. Next, what we'll do is install some of the cards by going to Hex, Front End, and the first one will be Custom Mini Graph. So let's go to Front End and type in Mini Graph Card and click Download. And finally, let's go back, click on Explore and Download, and it will be download, downloading the custom mushroom. So this add-on will have several other cards inbuilt, such as this one's here. Let's click on Download, click on Download, and we'll give it a minute or two. And finally, reload. So that is the prerequisites of installing our cards and integrations. Next, let's go through and start creating the dashboard. Okay, so let's create the dashboard. Let's make a new uh, workspace. Let's click on Add Cards. And the first card we'll be adding is a grid. And from the grid, we'll be scrolling down. Okay, if we make it easier, let's type in um, graph. And it'll be the mini graph card. Next one we to do is find the entity. So the best way to do it is open up a second tab. Let's go to settings. Let's go down to integrations. Speed. Test. And entities. So for the first one, let's do a ping. And you can click copy. Let's go to our grid. And here we'll be specifying our entity. So let's type in entities. Then we'll press enter and tab. And put on the sensor. And click save. So we've got the card added. Next one do is add the download speed and the upload speed. Let's go back to edit. Let's go set the columns to one. Let's add a second card, which will be another grid. Um, 
mini graph. What we do go back to our integration and let's go download. Grab the entity name. Go back to the first page and type the same entities, semicolon, enter new line, tab, bar, and paste the sensor. And next we're going to be adding a third one. Instead of download, we'll go upload. So as we can see, we've added them, but now we need to do is some manipulation to change how we're viewing it. Let's scroll down, click edit, and what we're going to do is add another graph. Uh, so another grid and we're going to copy the first one paste it in go to our next one cut that one out and here we're going to be putting in well, one column and we are going to be adding one more um, card and we're going to paste it in. And finally what we'll do, we're going to turn off the render card as squares. Correction, let's make it two. So now we've got a visual representation, but let's do some further manipulation into how we view it. So let's go to the three dots uh, on the card itself. And let's go code editor this time. And let's go through some of the other settings. So what else we can do is change the font type font so what we'll do is align it with the entities and type in font underscore size and this will be changing the size of it for us so for example if we make a 70 or 50 as you can see it the size of it on top here is getting different than the size down here. So I'm going to set it as 70. And let's also change the height. So as we can see, the height of it is shorter. Next, let's specify how much data we want to see. So the default entity is hours. And I want to see seven days. Seven times 24 is 168. This will show me one whole week's data. Next, if we press enter, and we can change the icons. It uses the MDI format. We have a little pulse up here. And let's change the graph itself. 
So we do line underscore color. And then we're going to do it as variable open bracket tab tab primary color which is blue. Next I'm going to make a different shape. So instead of a constant line, it's going to be a bar graph. Let's press enter and type in line underscore width two. Let's set the name for it. So this is our pin. And now we're going to be changing how the graph is looking. So what we'll do is points underscore per underscore hour, which will display one line will represent one hour. So in total, the whole graph will have 168 different lines. Uh, disregard that that is wrong. Next we're going to show enter and then press tab the fill will be true and the graph will be a bar so now I'm going to be pretty much copying all of this I want to go down to Entities sensor, press enter, move the cursor to the beginning of the line and press control V. And we just need to verify some of the settings. So, what we need to do is move all of this to be in line with entity. However, let's make this one a bit different for a bit of contrast. We're going to remove this. We need to rename the name and we're going to be calling it download. Let's change the arrow. So it'll be arrow down and just make it bold but I'm going to make this uh, a little bit bigger so it's going to be down by taking a height or setting a different variable as well as we can remove this empty line And what I want to be doing is copying this config and pasting it from the beginning. And then finally, let's change up to, sorry, down to up and rename it to upload. click save so this is the first portion of the um, dashboard we have our pink status we've got our download status and upload status next we'll go through creating our monitoring for our um, operating system updates as well as our add-on updates all right, so let's start the second portion. What we're going to do is click on Edit Dashboard. 
and click edit and what we'll do is add in one more grid and what we're going to do is go to mushroom update cards which we need to bottom what we'll do is click copy click plus paste copy plus paste and this will give us three different cards so depending what version of home assistant it might be different what we're going to do is get rid of the entity and we're going to type in home so the first one will be our supervisor we're going to scroll down and change the icon type to entity picture we are also going to set control buttons so as in the demo you have seen me clicking a button to update automatically and tap actions will be no actions so if you misclick on the icon you'll do nothing and this is what it will look like let's repeat it for two and three but in this instance we are changing the supervisor to operating system change their picture add the control buttons and we can disable these and let's do the third one which will be the core updates let's turn on the controls and turn off the actions so let's click on save and this is how it's going to look so as you can see I actually have disabled the buttons not the entity so I'm going to re-enable it and be back in a second so what we'll do is set it back to default action and click save so when there's an update available when you click on it it will download automatically however you're still going to have to reboot it manually next let's go through and show you how to add in another column to show what add-ons we've got so we'll be adding these add-ons into our dashboard so let's go add it we're going to go and create a fourth grid And we can just copy from the clipboard. So what we can do is go to our add-ons and go from left to right, adding all of them. So Home Assistant Google Drive. Let's create the icon type to picture. Control button, yes and go through it doing the same for the rest and just do one more change the icon type and let's give it control buttons Now we can see we've got a big space if we go back to edit and go back through all of our grids we're going to turn off this setting which will make it nice and tight to give us more real estate 
So there you go guys. This is the end of the video. We have successfully added new integrations to monitor our ping rate, our download and upload, which we can use to create automations. And what we have also done is downloaded some add-ons via hacks to give us new cards available to create a beautiful dashboard. With this dashboard, we can monitor and manage what integration or updates we're going to be pushing out from one place. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and what else you want to see in the future, and I'll see you in the next one.